click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hi, Russ here. Welcome back to my series, Organic Chemistry Problems. Today we're going to be talking about classes of compounds, very fundamental problem in organic chemistry. So you're going to want to get this right. You're going to want to memorize these classes because they never go away. All right, guys, let's get into it. First question, name the classes of compounds contained in the following molecule. Okay, so let's start top right for no better reason than is there. So the arrow is pointing here at this group right there. So this is ether. How do I know? Well, you have an oxygen flanked on either side by carbon and not carbonyl. So that's ether. Down here, this group right here, got a carbonyl. So start thinking about all the groups that you know of that contain carbonyl. And you have a nitrogen bonded directly to the carbonyl carbon. So that's very, very, very indicative of amide. Now, amides come in a few varieties, primary, secondary, tertiary. This one happens to be secondary or second degree amide because the nitrogen has two carbon-based groups attached to it. So it's a secondary amide. Another way to think of it, it only has one hydrogen. If an amide only has one hydrogen on the nitrogen, that's a secondary amide. Moving along, this one right here, when the arrow's pointing at that nitrogen, this is anamine. So you have a nitrogen that is not directly attached to a carbonyl, but is attached to a carbon group that's not carbonyl. That has to be amine, and this is a primary amine. Two ways to look at it. There's two hydrogens on the nitrogen, that's a primary amine or there's one carbon group on the nitrogen, that's a primary amine. Depends on how you want to look at it. Either way is fine, because they both get you to the right answer. This one here, pointing at this one. Well, you might at first glance say this is, a, this is a ether, because it is an oxygen flanked on either side by carbon groups. But more specifically, it's an ether that's in a three-membered ring. Ethers that are in three-membered rings are called epoxides. Ethers that are in four-membered rings are called epoxides. Good, good. Moving on. This one is pointing at this group right here. You may not know this, but there's a carbon here and a carbon here. That was the skeletal formula for an alkyne. Alkyne. Skeletal formula for an alkyne. Remember your carbon-based groups or your, or your hydrocarbon groups? Alkane, alkene, alkyne, and aromatic. Alkynes have triple bonds, carbon to carbon, triple bonds. Next, this one is pointing here. It's pointing at this carbon to carbon double bond. That's an alkene. That's an alkene. Alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, aromatics. Okay, so that's this one. This is how you solve this problem. Let's do another class of compounds question because, you know, it's always good to practice these things. Uh, practice makes perfect in organic chemistry, just like everything else. Start here, top right. This arrow is pointing at that group right there. It's a carbonyl-containing group, so start thinking about your carbonyl-containing classes. This is a carbonyl flanked on either side by a carbon group. So that is ketone. This one here. Looks like an alcohol, but you have to be careful here. It is indeed an alcohol, but more specifically, it's an alcohol attached to an aromatic ring. So that is not simply alcohol. More specifically, that is called phenol. An alcohol attached to an aromatic ring is called, or a benzene ring, is called phenol. That one, there's a carbon right there, don't forget. So we have a nitrogen triple bond it to a carbon. That's called nitrile. A nitrogen triple bond it to a carbon is called nitrile. Let's go over here. Here we have a carbonyl. And right here, it's not drawn because it's a skeletal formula. Right there, there's a hydrogen. Okay? So a carbonyl with a hydrogen bond it directly to the carbonyl carbon, that's called aldehyde. A hydrogen bonded directly to a carbonyl carbon gives the family 
aldehyde or the class of compounds, aldehyde. Last but certainly not least, it's pointing at the nitro, nitro. It's a nitro compound. Nitro is a nitrogen, double bonnet to an oxygen, single bonnet to a second oxygen. Nitrogen is positive. The ox one, of the, one of the oxygens is negative. That's called nitro. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what things I can work on for you to help you in your organic chemistry career. And you know what, guys? If you really like my content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really does help out all YouTube creators a lot when you guys subscribe to our content. And it keeps us excited to keep making more down the road. So with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.